Well, if you're having trouble remembering what you had for breakfast, maybe your diet is to blame. Natural health care practitioner Mark Mincola is here to tell us how to boost our brain power this morning. Do we need to boost our brain power? Yes. We really do. We're more stressed than ever. Research says that our brains only designed to deal with stress 30 to 60 minute intervals. I don't know anybody that has stress for 30 no. to 60. So what does all that stress do to you? Well, that stress really impairs memory, learning ability, cognitive skills, all kinds of attitude problems, etc. All right, so you have some natural tips on how to boost your brain function. How to boost function, your brain function, absolutely. Despite the stress, which everybody has. Which Can you just has. get rid of the stress with a magic wand? <laughs> yeah, Woo! wouldn't that be sweet? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking about some really important supplements, well-researched, well-studied. Blue-green algae, they've been around for a while, and they're basically kind of uh, the result of a lot of interest in alkalization. A lot of people want to basically take these blue-green algae, help memory increase positive, positive brain hormones, DMAE, dimethylaminoethanol. Again, over-the-counter supplements at the health food store. Dr. Leon Ettinger did some great, great ADD studies on DME, being really effective with ADD concentration, et cetera. Vinpositine, again, a great vasodilator, a natural enzyme, a basically food-oriented supplement that really helps with memory, learning skills, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Holy basil, which is an herb tea as well as a supplement in capsule form, really been found in a lot of research to mediate cortisol, the ultimate stress hormone. helps you keep those levels down. Huh. DHA, of course, is part of that important fish oil fatty stuff that really helps keep our concentration levels up. So many studies, again, on memory concentration learning with these fish oils. And DHA is the real key element in those fish oils that helps the brain. Do you suggest doing all of these or, or picking one, or how does it work? No, I think the most important thing is everybody has stress. I mean, I continually meet with people that are really impaired with memory, great thinkers out there that are just not clicking in all four cylinders a lot of the time because of stress. So they need to know that there are safe, over-the-counter viable alternatives. People research these things, talk them over with your healthcare professionals, Check them out because, uh, you know, even if you kind of try these things one at a time, you may find some really great aid with it. Easy to find, safe? Easy, safe, inexpensive, absolutely. Even the blue-green algae? Even the blue-green algae. Which conjures <laughs> up images of pond scum for me? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, it does actually increase something called PEA. PEA is a very important antidepressant that the brain produces. We produce it uh, with oxytocin when we feel good, fall in love, and all that great stuff, and it does increase that. So during periods of stress, who doesn't need that? Hey, a reason to love algae. <laughs> Mark Mancola, thank you so much My for being pleasure. here. Thank you. Some good tips. Be sure to check out Mark's website for more on today's topic and a lot of other topics. MaxHealing.com.